sorry. This one was, was upsetting. A humane agent talking about an animal cruelty case in Youngstown, and the woman police say was responsible. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. Lindsay Watson's on assignment. Well, the case involved a dog named Oreo, the one right behind me. We've learned that she's been adopted and is in a new loving home. The woman sentenced for hurting her is in jail tonight. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti was the only TV reporter in court this morning as humane agents described the disturbing scene they found on the city's east side last spring. Confined to a wheelchair, Michelle Kelly appeared in court as an agent with Animal Charity of Ohio described the condition of the woman's dog when it was found last May. This is exhibit one. This is the dog Oreo. I took this photo. Humane agents and police were called after a witness said she saw Kelly dragging the dog down the street attached to her car's bumper by a rope. Kelly had claimed the dog had run off and she was trying to get it back home again. All four paw pads appeared burnt off, pieces of skin hanging from the paw. Nearly all the animal's nails were broken. As McMurchy explained the dog's horrific injuries and treatment, her hands shook and voice broke. She apologized, saying the case had been very upsetting. Although Kelly tried to argue just how fast she was driving that day, the judge replied he didn't honestly care how fast she was moving. It was still fast enough to cause the dog's injuries. Why didn't you simply put it in the car? But Kelly cried, claiming she couldn't lift the dog. In the end, the judge sentenced Kelly to 30 days in jail, ordered her to undergo mental health counseling, and never again have any pets. Agents hope it sends a message to other animal owners. To know that the, um, the team is set up to rescue them, the investigators and the prosecutors are doing their jobs and the courts are responding. In this case, Oreo's injuries have healed and she's been adopted by another family. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.